Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all okay. This video to kind of sum it up before you watch it is basically just a, it's kind of like a, not a weekly vlog, but kind of a daily slash kind of weekly vlog. Um, it's kind of two days intermingled, is that a word? intermingled into one day goes through my posing lesson my first one um unwrap like undoing unwrapping my georgia rose bikinis and also kind of my top my protein products that i use every single day um so i hope you enjoy it please remember to hit the like button subscribe um and comment down below any other videos you want to see and welcome back to my channel i look extremely pale i think it's obviously the blue and i have the ring light it is currently 8 52 um half is off on a dog walk a late one for me today though. Yeah. I um, normally go this late. No, usually he goes when, oh, when I usually um, walk, like train. So she's about 7.30ish. Um, but I have my first posing session today with Phoebe. Um, I'm going to film like a little bit of it, I think, snippets. Um, and then I'll kind of run you through some of it afterwards. But very excited, very nervous. It's definitely something I struggle most with, isn't it? It is. I'm just wondering why you're holding the camera when it's actually on the floor. Because otherwise oh, I have to lean go. down. Perfect. Yeah, that's better. But this is kind of my setup. I've had to move all of the sofas over there. Right, have a lovely day, team. Bye. And then the sofa there. So I have this big, obviously, space. However, that beam is. If I wait, stay there. I literally hit my head on the beam because of my hair. So I kind of have to go in more of the centre there. So yeah, that is pretty much everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, something to note, I have trained. I got up early today. Um, I What did I train? I got up at 6.30, trained shoulders, and then I got on the cardio machine. Well, I did cardio first, then did um, training. Um, I did 25 minutes of cardio, incline walking. It's entirely up to me kind of what kind of cardio I do, but I just do the treadmill like incline walking because it means I can kind of watch the TV at the same time. Um, the treadmill is literally like... Hit. Uh, <laughs> you can't really see it but anyway um so yeah i do that i have to keep my heart rate between 130 120 to 130 beats per minute um and then i start the timer when that obviously starts um and that does not count towards any of my steps so that's pretty much all my cardio update in front pose making sure the tips to the left good and we step it back move the hand nice and slow good forwards and round hands and thighs good step it out nice and slow with the glutes Good, and back pose, remember stand it up a bit more. Good, and we sway to the right, step it back. Good, forwards and round. Good, step it back, hands down on thighs, and front pose, good, better. Okay, so the main thing, only, literally the only change I would say is making sure that your hands, when you're coming back round from that movement from your back pose, yeah. try and make sure that when your hands, don't bring them down all the way down to your, like on your body, yeah. making sure that you have that gap, just so you can see the silhouette of your body. Yeah. So let's do that again, that looks really, really good. So I'm really happy with how this is moving. That was really good. That was yeah. probably the best one we've done. It's just consistency. Yep. So now just practicing it over and over again just to make sure that you're happy with the way that you're moving in and out of things. Yep. I'm really happy with how this is moving. That is my session done. It was literally 30 minutes. Um, I filmed a little bit on here for you guys to see. Um, and I'm going to put up a clip as well, probably. But it was really good. I feel so much kind of more... I've got like a routine now. I kind of know my transitions. It's hard, like posing is hard and it's not easy. Um, and it's something I definitely struggle with. Um, and it's something like I definitely need to continue to do like kind of more of. Um, so I'm gonna have like sessions, um, like a lesson every other week um, for half an hour every other week, which will be really good for me and definitely very helpful, especially when I'm like 15 weeks out. So how many does that lead up to? Around eight sessions, um, which will be really good and very helpful. I want to show you guys something before my camera runs out. This, is called an Udi. It's honestly like, I think it's a five times extra large jumper. Highly recommend. Um, Half bought this for me and I live in it. It's amazing. Um, Literally straight, like after posing, got straight into it. And now I'm gonna sit and edit a YouTube video. Um, what else am I gonna do? I've got a couple of clients sign up and I've got a big job of accounts to do. <sighs> I kind of love accounts, but I also hate doing them. Um, But it's fun. 
it's fine. I'm gonna go eat a Marmite bagel now because I am hungry. All I have eaten is 10.15. I've eaten a square bar and I've also had obviously my intro workout which has 20 grams of carbs in it. Um, so I haven't eaten too much. I'm gonna have a bagel with Marmite on. Can you guys see me? I have very limited battery. Um, so I have just come back from a dog walk to a very exciting parcel. This is from Georgia. Um, Georgia Rose Bikinis are likely the at here. Um, I'm so excited for this. So as you guys know, obviously when I do my check-ins, I have just been using a my protein bra and then like Alpha Leap pants um, every single week. That's what I've been like consistent with. And then now I'm now um, uh, collaborating with Georgia and I'm so excited this to be obviously one of her athletes for my 2021 season. Um, literally so excited and so happy to be a part of the team. So let's look. Comes in a cute, pretty pink box. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's got a little bow. This is adorable, I literally love, and it has her logo down there. Very cute, plain box, which I love. And then, voila. Dun, dun, dun. I'm like the worst unboxer, I swear. Oh my God, this is so exciting. It's like, I feel like I'm at Christmas again. So we have a little, a little thingy. Then she also has her um, own kind of design for her, what's it called, tissue paper. So these are gonna be like I said, my posing suits. She has kindly sent me two. I got to kind of pick um, the kind of colors, like the designs that I have. Then also like the straps you have, kind of the jewel that goes there, the straps obviously on your waist as well. I'll probably try these on tomorrow. What is my hair doing? Anyway, I'll probably try these on tomorrow um, when I'm kind of a bit more presentable. Right now I'm in this huge, I think it's called an Udi, Udi, something like that. But anyway, going off track. Um, so this is the Tiki design, oh my goodness literally so excited so this is the tiki here up where i left off because my camera decided to run out of battery it still only has two bars i did only leave it to be honest like 10 minutes um so we're just gonna see what i get done in the time before it dies so as i was saying this is the first one literally love so basically what i've got gone for is one more pattern and then one kind of just a chilled one. So I'm now doing check-ins Monday and Thursday. And as we kind of get deeper into prep, it's gonna get more and more. Um, so Georgia was so kind to kind of gift these to me and I'm so excited to obviously share her brand more because she has literally such an insane brand and her dogs are also very cute. Um, check her out on Instagram. Just her brand in general, her bikinis are amazing. I'm so excited for you guys to see my final product for my final bikini. I'm gonna keep it quiet until stage day, like show day. This is the first one, literally love the prints, especially this one here, this looks so cool. Then we have obviously all the straps around here and then the straps from here. Literally love it. And then the pants. So IFBB is kind of more a thong. So that's basically the IFBB is kind of the um, federation that I'll be competing in. Um, it's more a thong. So this is the front and then the back. Wait, let me come in close to the back. So it looks like that. It's kind of a rouged back, which I really like. And then also the front. The pattern is so nice, literally love that. And then it also has kind of the, um, so I can pull these apart obviously and tighten it how I need to, um, just to make sure it fits me. And then it has the jewels again there. So that's bikini one. That was kind of my definite, I knew I was gonna have that. And then the next one I was kind of a bit more undecided with. I was kind of like, I'm gonna go more subtle, I'm not sure. I kind of always stick quite like safe with this kind of stuff. So I kind of went for a dark, deep blue um, just because I really liked it. It's very shiny. This is, she's done it so it's literally a one strap for this and the same on the pants and I'll show you in a second. It's kind of not a very um, common this, but people, like she said the other day to me that people have been interested in it and she was like, do you know what? I'll give it to G, I'll get G to try it. So I'm kind of the guinea pig, which I love and it's just very, very cool. Really like that. And then this is the color here. Such a nice colour and we have the mid strap there. And I said to her the other day, I was like, right, I literally have very small boobs, um, so we need to make me look like I have boobs on stage. Um, and she's the queen of that, so I should have boobs on stage, which which is <laughs> it's always a bonus. And then we have the pants again. Obviously, they're a bit um roughed up because they've been in the box. But here we have the one strap again, as you can see. Really do like that. It's kind of just 
just small and thin it's not too in your face but it's kind of blingy at the same time with some sparkles so i am so excited to try these on when i do check-ins go and check out her business if you are competing highly recommend her for um your stage bikinis she's amazing like i said i have kind of no clue um what i want for the stage and she was like right i think you suit this this and this i'm not going to tell you what yet however i'm going to wait till show day um but she is a star so that's the unveiling of my bikini i hope you guys did enjoy that um i'm going to carry on with the vlog now righty ho let's get straight into it bear with me guys while i just brush my hair um so i was doing the thumbnail um i'm awful at doing thumbnails i swear like i always forget basically is my hair okay yeah so this video is basically kind of it's a random one um the other day obviously i went i took you guys through some of my posing lesson um my first one of this kind of season i then um took you through like an unboxing of my georgia rose bikini which bikinis sorry which are amazing and now i thought just to finish kind of round up the whole vlog as we're kind of doing like an unboxing one it's kind of a bit of fun isn't it i guess i hope you guys find it fun <laughs> um i would kind of take you guys through as you've seen behind me um my kind of like top products that from my protein that i use every single day without fail um i will never kind of promote anything that i don't use um if that makes sense um literally everything i put on my story is products i use every single day or obviously on training days um as you guys know there's like three products i use on two products that i use only on training days um and then the rest i pretty much have every single day yeah so I thought it's literally gonna be just a short um probably like a five minute clip just running you through i think there's like 10 products here there's kind of 10 slash 11 um one of them is kind of double i just want to show you the like comparisons of the two let's start with my day to day was my training day sorry drink that i have during my training session so this consists of like three products we have the first thing is cyclic dextrin um this is basically literally as it says in the name 100 percent carbs there's no fats there's no protein in this um it's simply just that i have 20 grams on training days only literally 20, um, 20 grams only um it has it's unflavored it tastes of nothing in terms of who i'd recommend it to um if your calories are relatively low and your carbs are relatively low i probably wouldn't recommend it um realistically it's kind of if you're finding during your workouts you are struggling a bit and um, you need that little boost of more carbohydrates for energy etc um this is definitely something i would recommend and if your carbs are on the higher end um for example when i was eating around like 3950 um i was having 25 grams of this um daily on my training days it just helps obviously during um sessions like i said to kind of keep the energy high um and yeah it basically is an easy way to get the extra carbs in so this is what i have um, i'm not sure when cow will kind of take out of my plan um i'll obviously keep you guys updated however i am 13 weeks out from my first show and it's just been knocked down to 20 grams instead of 25 um so yeah that is pretty much cyclic dextrin then in the next combination of that drink we have this is a brand new packet um which is always nice i swear um this is impact eaas so this is in the raspberry lemonade flavor i again have 20 grams um i mix these two together um and also you cannot taste the cyclic dextrin so you can taste the raspberry lemonade which is a really nice flavor i think we have i think it's a mango downstairs it's got an orange label half didn't like that flavor i haven't tried it yet to be honest i'm kind of loyal to the raspberry lemonade because i'm so used to it and i love it i'm like i haven't changed um so that is that that is quite an expensive product i think it's around 30 pounds um including discount i think don't hold me accountable to that i'm not definitely sure but it is more expensive product um it's not an essential product it's just obviously what i've been taking on prep and that before prep as well um and that is another thing cows that i need to take um so i do so if you don't want to spend the money it's not like not essential also in that product we have like in that drink um that i do have during training sessions i have creatine again obviously it's unflavored um so it's, the whole thing is literally these three <laughs> these three products um mixed together and it tastes of raspberry lemonade i have three grams of this um and that is what i have i have three grams of this every single day other two products i only have on training days creatine i have every single day without fail um if you're taking it be consistent um don't kind of miss a day don't miss a couple of days you need to be consistent with it um it's a very cheap product i think it's like three pounds on my protein um when there's kind of a good sale on of course my code why did i mention that i forgot to mention that 
<laughs> my code um, GLJ will save you 37% off on top of any kind of anything. And if there's a sale, I'll keep you guys updated on my story anyway. Um, so yeah, also if you do shop through my link, that is the bit that gets me the commission. So thank you so much. Um, obviously that helps my relationship with the brand, as everyone says. It also, it just obviously gives me a small amount of commission basically. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is my like intra workout drink. We then move on, let's move on to these. We then move on to these. Now, I just really enjoyed taking these, to be honest. These are multivitamin gummies. Um, of course, you could take the normal multivitamins. Of course, you could definitely just take like the multivitamins. Um, I probably assume the multivitamin like tablets are probably cheaper. However, I prefer like the gummies just because it's kind of like a sweet um, and I just, that's what I prefer. Um, however, I do have both. So whenever I run out of these, I'll just move on to these basically. Um, so yeah, highly recommend taking these. Of course, like I said, it's not essential um realistically no kind of supplement is essential one i would recommend definitely is creatine if you don't take it um like if you don't already take it take it it's something i definitely recommend we then have vitamin d3 um it's another thing cal said for me to take so cal's my coach by the way if anyone wondered why um this is something i would also recommend and i take on the daily i think i take one tablet a day we then have the Sorry, I thought that was my parcel. <laughs> we then have flavour drops. Now, I've only just got back into these. Um, if you've kind of followed me since the first prep, I really like the, I think they're from TK Maxx. Oh, what is it called? Skinny, is it skinny syrups? Something like that. It's basically syrups that have zero calories and nothing in it. Um, and I really enjoy black coffee. And to be honest, I'd gone off of it. I just haven't, I'm not like, I don't need coffee. Um, and it's not something that I have to have every single day. So I just haven't had it in such a long time. No real reason why. I just just haven't um had it basically however the deeper i get into prep um i know that it's kind of quite a good i enjoy it because it's quite sweet um having these there's literally zero like nothing in them this is vanilla i really like the vanilla flavor i know there's also like this um butter biscuit flavor i think that i really want to try next i also have strawberry downstairs which i have started adding into like oats and also my eat and mess protein powder which i'll show in a second um and that kind of obviously intensifies the strawberry flavor which is good however these are literally like three pounds um they're a bargain we then see i told you this is gonna be short guys what is it six minutes so far i'm proud of that we then have um, my favourite, now I know I said last week, I think it was last week, a couple of weeks ago, my favourite kind of um, impact way is caramel brownie. Was it caramel brownie? Yeah, caramel brownie or vanilla. However, I've basically been going through, we've got this whole box in this be in my bedroom, in our bedroom, um, that is full of my protein goodies um, and we haven't used quite a few. So I was like, right, Harv, instead of getting more protein powder, we're going to use the ones we already have of course otherwise it's waste um so we're now on this mission to have a, like to get through the box before we make like buy any other impact whey protein because i swear we have like the whole shop it feels like um so this is now a new favorite of mine honestly it's so good i never thought i would like this but i do basically it's the eaton mess flavor and um, i have the impact way really really good it's like not too sweet to be honest it tastes like strawberry um and i will then mix my flavor drop that is the strawberry version um with that however this is so good um i have it with kind of greek fat free fat free greek yogurt um and then literally water some strawberries blend it up amazing amazing smoothie really enjoy it also i've started to put it in um some kind of oats that's also very good um and that's yeah i really like that i have like 20 grams i know i said a few weeks ago about my skin um however i'm happy with my skin it's going well um so i have been incorporating this in again a little bit um and having 20 grams kind of daily it's just an easy way to get a little bit more protein in and hit that protein goal instead of obviously having to have big portions of like meat for example good morning Morning. Well, look, presentable. Nice sliders. That was each one. As I was saying before, half interrupted. Um, so creatine. Now, this was obviously three pound. This is the um, kind of the powder put in the water or put in some squash, for example, or your pre-workout drink. Anything you can't taste it. However, if you kind of want. I don't know, like, I guess you could say a sweet. It's not realistically a sweet, to be honest. Two of these chewable creatine tablets. Now, this is in the lemon flavour. You have to have, to get, like, the five grams, um, obviously, I have three grams a day, then you have to have three sweets. Now, they do come in kind of 
individual wrapping are really good they taste really good they are however a bit more expensive um it's just dependent obviously your preference um if you would rather eat it or kind of just not even taste it um i do actually really like these and they are very very good we have like three bags by accident i somehow ordered three instead of one um i don't know how i did it don't ask me not a scooby but anyway that is also obviously related to the creatine it is just a bit more expensive um it's just dependent on you and your preference we have left like the two well two favorite products will last there is one more um this is quite a random one this is literally it's like one pound um and it's got obviously all the different like holes so you can put all your different um kind of tablets in there depending on what you take um and it's just very handy it reminds me that i need to take them um so yeah that's like 1.99 i think um it's just something i thought i use every day i have it by my bedside but like on my bedside table um and it's something i recommend now we have like my two favorite products of all time i have only just started having these and um, i've had them years ago when i first started working with my protein um when i first started my instagram i've had these and i literally love them i then forgot about them somehow and now i'm like back on them they are so good so oh these are the um my protein chocolate crispies now macro wise um there is how many bear with me let me get one out it's like high in protein there's only seven grams of protein in them to be fair they're not there's like i don't think that's that bad um fat wise there's five grams and carbs is 14.3 um so you basically get like four four um like they're like that size they're like literally chocolate crispies they're very good very good on the go calorie wise i think 130 to be honest they're quite good um especially if you have a sweet tooth i really really like them um and they are just well they're our new obsession we got like i think two or three boxes the other day um and we are already getting through this box right i'm going to show you them on camera and eat them now because then you can see the size basically this is what you get because you, as you can see they're like four of these Harvey, why is there a sock on my display cabinet of my products on my protein asked, you asked me to leave it there and i've left it can i have my hoodie then what are you doing now this is my unboxing they're hideous the new, they are hideous the new yeezy ash gray i think it's ash gray anyway you're not even showing it you're showing the, the right hand corner they are so hideous. They are so fresh. I was tempted to sell them when he wasn't looking. Final product. This is like, I swear I talk about this product every single day. Every single day. I do. Dun, dun. Baked cookies. We literally have one each. Every day. Yeah, no, no I'm not hard. Um, so they are obviously not probably the most calorie. Friendly. Uh, They've just got a lot of fat in and carbs in. Wait, let me tell the macro thingies. They're worth it though. They are so worth everything. So they've got 289 calories in them. I won't eat this one in front of you guys because otherwise I'm gonna have no snacks. It's 9.40 currently um, and I don't wanna eat everything right now. So basically this is the size of them. They are 289 calories, 38 grams of carbs, 8.6 grams of fat and 13 grams of protein. Realistically, carb wise, I probably could get a better, like more nutrient dense and more kind of fulfilling, satiating food. Satiating, However, that's how you say it. Yeah. I could never say that. I thought it was satiated. <laughs> However, these are just incredible that I will literally have one every single day at the moment. Obviously, until calories are a lot lower, I probably won't. Um, but they are just, they're so good. Um, literally very good. Harvey, go on, tell me what products you would recommend if you had to pick two. Uh, if I'm going for food, baked cookies. Yep. If I'm going for a product that I would probably have every single day and I do, is either any sort of protein, so impact weight or impact weight or isolate, whey isolate. Yeah, and they're cheap, aren't they? Like, the Impact Whey protein is very cheap. Well, if you don't like that, Clear Whey is an absolute banger. Yeah, see, I'm, I like it. However, I don't opt for it. I think when I get obviously lower in calorie-wise, potentially yes, because it's obviously it tastes like squash. Um, however, I would probably rather eat my actual food than obviously drink it. Um, I know I said earlier about the eating mess. Um, however, I kind of have it in yogurt or something like that. So yeah, to finalise, these are just a must have. I think they're like £12 um, and they are so good. We have like four boxes. Um, they also come in salted caramel, which mum and half absolutely love. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I prefer the double chocolate. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of like everything I've shown you is my top products I have on the daily or obviously on training days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Um, 
but like I said at the start, if you want to obviously shop through my protein, please use my link. It is down below in the description um, and then GLJ will save you guys money on top. Um, that is going to kind of end the vlog there. I hope you guys obviously enjoyed everything. Um, and I will see you guys on series, uh, series, episode four, um, which will be next week. So this is going to go live Sunday and then I'm going to do another vlog um, obviously next week. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys then.